Do that to me. Okay. What's up, YouTube? This is Next Master Vlogs here. It's been uh, forever. I apologize deeply. Um, if you're wondering why my face is slowly going away, it's the fact that I kind of am vlogging while driving. Yeah. That's move. Um, oh, I'm gonna try something. Hi. I can see you barely. Uh, okay. This ain't working as I thought. Uh, um, anyways, I hope all, you all are having a great Wednesday. I just got done at FBLA. And, um, if you're wondering why the car looks weird, this is not the Toyota that I used to drive. I, I drove. This is not the truck that I was driving. Funny thing that happened, I kind of did sort of kind of blow up my, uh, truck. Oh! Okay, um, so, look, now you can't see me at all. What the hell is going on here? Okay, yeah, there's a glare. I apologize. Um, this would have been awesome if it was on this side. Uh, pretty much what happened was, there's this, uh, guy who was driving a, uh, 1960-something, 1969, I want to say, uh, Chevy Custom steel plate body truck. Now, if any of you know about me and my driving skills, I happen to get distracted. Uh, ooh, that's nice, that's nice mud right there. Um, yeah, that's kind of what happened today. Um, <laughs> uh, to give you more, in, in more details of what the hell just happened to me, I'm fine, by the way, no broken bones, still the scar. Um, but uh, I, <laughs> I did not see him coming. <laughs> Per se, uh, what happened was I was driving normally that, during five o'clock traffic. I was trying to get my truck repaired. Uh, I had some brake issues. Um, <laughs> I did not know my brakes were going to fail as I was trying to stop for a freaking stoplight. I'm not joking. I'm straight up going about. 35 down, 35, 40 down uh, 70th Street in Lincoln. And as I'm passing, and as I pass Vine, and I was about to pass Layton, and then all of a sudden I'm right behind this weird truck that seems to be dripping liquid. It looked like water. Wow, this is a very tight curve. Hello, come through. Thank you very much. Hi. Hey, you can see me. Hey, hello. Um, I'm gonna take this off. Just sorry to turn that off. Um, okay. now, I hope you guys can still hear me. That is my goal. You can't see my face though. I'm so sorry. Um, so pretty much what happened was I am driving mostly safe. Okay, I wasn't being a complete and total idiot and just drive recklessly down 70th. It is five, it was five o'clock traffic. So I should have known. And my clock, my, my clock was perfectly fine. It said five o'clock. I had my phone plugged in to my aux, to my tape aux cord. Um, I'm not bothered pulling it out because I'm driving right now. Um, but I had everything set up. Everything was perfectly fine until I looked down at my clock wondering, oh, what time is it? Hello. Oh, nice. It's a Jeep. What the hell? Oh, it's a, one of those uh, dumbass looking Jeeps. Okay. Um, okay. What the hell are you doing? Oh, okay. Well, that was weird. Um, but what happened was I'm driving down 70th and I'm... I look up, after I'm done looking at the clock, fixing my radio because something went wrong, I look down for like two seconds, and I'm going 35, and I'm far away from the intersection. Probably would have been a good idea to take off my, take my foot off the gas pedal, because I am freaking idiot. I look at it. I'm going, shit! Trying my hardest 
to stop. And I uh, couldn't. <laughs> I um, ended up hitting smack dab right at the end, like the bed of the truck, like the side of the, like, it was something horrifying, mind you. I was scared out of my mind. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> and, and then I like, call my mom and I'm like, mom, I just crashed. I have tears. I'm like completely in shock. And I couldn't sleep for like a whole week. I mean, I did sleep. I just couldn't sleep well. I, got, I was so restless. I was so afraid that this was going to bite me straight in the ass. <laughs> and then my mom... Uh, it's like, oh, you're fine, you're fine. We all had this. Like, yeah, but your car survived. And my mom, when my mom had this accident, she crashed and she, um, a Mexican, I think it was either a Mexican pulled out in front of her and she crashed, or she got hit by a Mexican. But either way, no pains, nope, she still had to pay a fine. And this guy either was drunk or high, according to my mom. I don't know what the hell's going on, but something just happened. Uh, something's going on up front. Um, <laughs> I need to slow down a hell of a lot faster than I expected. I am right now pulling into my hometown. Um, but what ha what then happened was I'm so, like, my mom's taking me home, and I am in tears still. My mom's trying to keep me calm. And this is the second time this happened. The first of the times I crashed, um, I got myself stuck in the ditch. Twice. <laughs> and I rear-ended someone. Like, a gentle rear-end. Kind of like one of those things where no damage was done. Like, a minor piece of damage. Like, you just did something wrong. And it was like, oof! Oh, crap. That happened. Oh, dear. And... I, and then this one was the major one, and thankfully, I have, uh, accident forgiveness. But, I fucked it up so bad. Now, if either me or my sister get into a crash, we are fucked. And that's, that's the same for every, hello, that's the same for any, uh, forgiveness plane. If you crash more than once, and it's like a severe crash where you have to take it to a body shop type crash, it's you're gonna be known as a reckless driver. I don't know what it's called. Put down in the comments below if you know what I'm talking about, and correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I forgot what it's called. Um, risk driver or something like that. I don't know. I totally forgot. It slipped my mind. Apologize. Um, but now, instead of me driving a Ford Ranger, I am driving a Chrysler PT Cruiser. Red style body, beautiful, and I'm buying this for my mom once I find a job. Uh, yes, I'm still jobless. I worked. I had a job. I had a job. I just need to get another one. It was not the best day for me. Hello. And then, like, this car is good. I just drove it on gravel once, and I regret every moment of it. I did not throw it into the ditch, thank God. But, the, I had traction control here, and I thought, hey, I'm an idiot. Let's try turning the traction control off. Beep. And I'm swerving like hell. I was like, shit, this is not what I wanted. Is my dad home? I'm pulling right in my driveway. Uh, no, okay, I thought that was my dad. Because if I see a, um, if I, uh, if I see a, um, if I see a Ford Explorer or a Ford tr a SUV in my friggin' driveway that's painted completely red, I'm fucked. I mean, I love my dad. I love him. He's my father. But, uh, it, it's one of those things where he's like, 
son, you need to do this, you need to do this. Yes. But I'm home. Um, this is gonna be um, ever since I got ever since my mom installed uh, this thing. I think it, it yeah. Um, it's wedge tech, so I could just slap it on right there and bada bing bada boom. You can see me while I'm driving. Ah! I just need to figure out if I can zoom in or tilt it this. Oh, this will be so much smarter. Okay, then that's all I'm gonna do next time. Anyways, I'm gonna readjust it. Anyways, so I'm gonna see you guys later. Um, if I'm doing more driving like this, I'm going to. Do I'm going to school and when I'm coming back? Scratch I'm gonna do it once in a while, it's a dangerous idea. Anyways, this is Nick Master or Nick signing off. I'm just kidding. Peace out guys. <laughs>